All right, so here's the mostly cleaned out bottom case. I'm going to talk cases down there. Uh, we've got to do a bunch of cleanup work here. Basically, it amounts to getting your Scotch Brite pads and cleaning off as much corrosion as you can or any of these buildups anywhere where they are and they shouldn't be. And then removing as much as possible of all these older bits of the ceiling gasket material, which again usually just entails 3M scrubbing this and try not to round any corners any more than you have to. Uh, any of this stuff that's really bad, I've got a chisel that I have unchiseled the, the chisel tip for so that it actually is, has a bevel on both sides, a little bigger on one side than the other, and I find it's really good for scraping more like uh, paper gasket material that's gotten stuck on someplace. So, you know, this, these kinds of gaskets sometimes stick to the parts really bad and tear loose, and I use a chisel for that. But I don't have any of that on the crank halves, at least. Uh, there may be some on some of these type fittings as we get further up into the <clears throat> jug connections and the intake and exhaust connections. But here, there's not too bad, and mostly this is what I want to get done today in one... Swell foop is get the halves together, uh, get all that stuff torqued, and uh, maybe think about getting the jugs on and pistons in. We'll see. So one thing that's always kind of frustrating is getting these little bits in like this of the gasket material that's squished out of this section. And I find again that just use the, the Scotch-Brite type pads and if you just kind of scrub these along and out, see how easy that was? And the same thing for these holes, right, you can just kind of dip it in there and twist it a little bit. You're just breaking the edges, and whereas trying to get those out with a scraper or anything turns into a giant pain in the butt. Just scraping the little scratch bright pads around in here makes very quick work of all these little bits like that. They just pop right out once you break the edge. Of the
Okay, so any little dent, well, I should say what you're looking for when you're refinishing the facing of the halves. Remember, there's no gasket here other than the sealant that you use. Um, I use this 1214, I think it is, um, from Thermobond. Yeah. Um, and you're just putting a smear of it around all the holes. You'll see that in a little while when we put that together. But when I'm cleaning up these faces, what I'm looking for are little areas like this little bright spot here. It's time to stop and take a good look at it and see if it's proud of the surface, proud of the surface, this flat surface here. Because if, if anything, you can have dents in this, right? So if that was proud of the surface, I would file that. Because you can have a hunk of this missing, it's not going to make any difference. But if it's sticking up, then it's preventing the cases from getting near each other in this location. And the permabond may not be enough to maintain the pressures it needs to. And then you're in trouble and you've got a blowout. Or, or really a leak in, which will cause a lean and burn you down even if you got the rest of it right. So I've got a couple spots here, especially that one. I can feel a burr and the... 3M catches on it terribly, so I think that's a high point, and so I'll just hit it with the file. Until I know it's down below that surface, and now I can tell the pad isn't catching on it as easily, and I can go on. Now some of these sharp edges like these, they don't matter. Again, you just want to give them a good feel to make sure there's no burr sticking up at those points. In fact, I think I'll just go ahead and knock all these down just to be sure they all feel like they might be a little hotter than I want them to be. All these feel right. Sorry, all those feel good. But I may just tap all or take a little bit off of each one of these uh, with the file. Okay, so on the jug connection points here from the upper half, you can see there's a lot more 
paper, a lot more paper gasket stuck to these. This is sometimes a problem that's too much for the Scotch Bright pads to handle elegantly. I've used both the chemical gasket removers on these and also a scraper. Anytime you use a scraper or scraping device, you run the risk of adding a burr. These are big, thick paper gaskets, though, so if you're going to get a burr, this is a decent place to get it, as opposed to on the connection between the halves where you don't get any compressible gasket other than the, the goo. So I'm going to give this a try with the um, Scotch Bright, see how far I can get, and if I just have some stubborn spots, we may go chemical or get out the uh, chisel I mentioned earlier.